Hi, it's Gadget UK here again. As you can see, this time I'm looking at the VIC-20 penultimate cartridge V4.3. It's actually marked 5.0B, I think, underneath, and certainly on the uh, the rod itself when you boot it. Um, so as you can see, got this connected up here. Uh, I'll just zoom a little bit so you can see a little bit clearer. So when you first power it on, you've got this menu. Um, I'll show you the car itself actually in a second. We'll take it out towards the end of the video, but um, as you can see, you get this menu here, and you've got the you know the games uh, listed down here, and you see there's like a white block, and that indicates the key that you press. So like zero one, you press one, you get that game. Uh, one zero, so you press the zero, you get Dig Dug, um, and then you can use the right arrow key here to go down a page. So you'll notice we've got ten different games there. These are you know the games that we've shipped on long cartridge. Um, and there's quite a few, I think it's 43 in total. Um, I think it just wraps, no it doesn't, you've got to press left to go back up. Um, so just press in any of those and I'll we'll try Ding Dug, let's press a zero. Um, that'll just load the game as you can see. You can use the car keys there to move it around as normal. That's working. F1, F1 to start, as you can see that works. Now, the nice thing with this, um, Dave's added uh, a reset button here, you can see menu button. So if I just press that menu button, and um, straight into the menu again, which is really cool. Um, the second main feature of this, as you can see down here, you've got these you know, configurable RAM blocks. Now, you can press the function keys you know, to select, so F1 will just do 0K. Uh, in fact, let's try that. It should just be, there you go, there's a standard 3583 3 bytes free. Press the menu button, let's go back in again. Um, so we'll try 32K. Now bear in mind that's only going to show a certain amount of that 32K in basic. I forget what it is, about 28 bigger. 28159, that's correct. So I'll go back into the menu again. Um, but it goes right up to 35K, <coughs> which you'll see is option F5. Um, now the other thing you can do with this, you know, the other nice features that he's put in here, I don't know you can see you've got SD to IEC menu there on F7 um, with 35K, so if I press F F7 I've got my SD to IEC connected at the moment, and hopefully, uh, once it loads, it's in the drive now I think, is it, is it loading? I'm not sure what's going on there, might hit a bug. Uh, I do know that works because I did it previously. It could be because I've just been playing around with the disk drive a minute ago. So I'll try it again, F F7. There you go, it's working. Um, it might be because I've been switching between different modes and things there, I'm not sure. Uh, but as you can see, that's automatically loaded the uh, menu. So, you know, I can go around the file browser, uh, go and find the VIC-20 ROM. Because uh, this is in 35K mode, um, I think Doom should now work. This was one game that was previously unavailable to me because I didn't have that additional 3K. Was it 5K? I forget. Um, so let's just give that a go. So as you can see, that's loaded. Uh, if I hit return. loaded from disk, there we go, that's loaded as you can see I can turn there, I can't remember what the keys are now, there you go, let's go forward, backwards, so yeah that's working fine, so I press the menu button, let's go back, so you'll see other options down here, we've got F8 here to just load star uh, from the drive, um, and then you've got, uh, I think it's D, uh, D to swap the drive, so it's D there, you can toggle, say 8, 9, 10, 11. So you can toggle through the different drive, you know, device IDs that will work depending on whether you know when you press F7 or F8. That's quite cool. A advanced. Um, now this shows you all the different configurations uh, of your memory here. So you know, presumably if you press one, yeah, that's going to be zero. Okay. And you can just about see just down here it shows you the value that you've changed to. So 8K, 24K, 32, 3K, 11K, 27K. 35k. So you've got, an, you know, and it shows you different the different banks, you know, which blocks uh, the memory blocks here have been used um, by the different amounts of RAM there. So that's really useful um, if you've got the odd application or game or something that needs a really specific, um, you know, configuration of memory there. You can get that quite easily. And again, you can jump up to the, uh, you know, exit to basic pretty easy here. Sorry, F1, um, and then 
F3 there to get the SD to IEC browser up, or F5 just to load star from whichever drive you've got. So N goes back to the uh, prior page. So that's quite cool. What? So uh, yeah, I think he's also managed uh, to get you know, some of the text adventures. Uh, but there's one, Pirates Cove. 37, which is number, press number 7. Normally, when you load some of those games uh, from cards, you've got to type a, I think it's a sys command or something to you know, jump to a certain point in memory or something. Um, and he does it automatically for you there. There's some very clever code that he's implemented um, to get that to automatically launch. So you don't even need to mess around like you would you know, in the original cards. It's, it's great. Press the button and go back. Um, so I'll take the card out now. I'll just give you a quick look. So take a look at the board here now, you can see it's um, Dave's usual sort of high quality uh, approach here you know, to the manufacturer stuff and the assembly, it's, it's really tidy. Um, it says 4.3 on it but actually you know, the ROM is actually a 5, 5B, um, he may have moved on from a 5B now, I'm not sure, you need to check out his website. But I will post some links to his website um, in the description below and to you know, the, the article for this um, cartridge here. Um, I think he's waiting for the, um, there's like a, you know, a, a case case for this you know so it's encapsulated within a plastic shell just like a normal cartridge is um, and I think he's done that in conjunction with um, eight, future was 8 bits um, you know the people who sell the um, SD to IECs there so I can't see what the cameras because of the sunlight um, so it's also worth pointing out that um, I haven't paid for this Dave just sent me this for review um, now the previous things Dave sent me I've paid him up to date for I think I think we agreed that the last time I sent him an email so it's very good of him to send the things he sent me but I'm kind of one of these people if someone sends me something for review I tend to like to pay for it at some point um, even if I think it's great or even if I think it's crap you know if it's something I'm going to keep I will pay for it no matter what because it just wouldn't be right it wouldn't be right me doing reviews that way um, and I, I kind of feel indebted to pe you know indebted to people. If someone sent me something that like this, where Dave's you know he's spent his own time and money on this and stuff, it would be kind of wrong. Even though he's getting free advertising, it's not because it, it's in. The, it, I tend to be unbiased, really. You know, if there was something fundamentally wrong with this, I would point it out. Really, I mean, you saw that little bug I had before in the menu. I don't think that's a huge problem. I think it's just a sequence of events. Um, that I managed to do things in typically, you know, I mean, because I've played with this for a few hours actually, I've not had a problem at all. It's just typical that when I come to film it, I had that one issue there where I switched between two different memory modes or something. The next minute it froze, it didn't didn't load the ST to IEC menu, but that was literally um, me just messing around. You know, uh, I don't think you'd be able to recreate that yourself if you tried. Um, but yeah, the point I'm trying to make is. The good, these are, these are good, you know. And this is my unbiased approach. I will be paying with Dave for this, and then we'll be back up to date again with um, payment for the things that he sent me. Um, but it was much appreciated, Dave. Thanks for sending this. You know, I'm, I'm very grateful because um, I love all this old stuff. It's, it's nice to look at some of the new things that people are producing um, for some of this old technology. But yeah, anyway, rambling aside, you can see we've got an Atmel um, something or other here. I don't know if it's. Um, microcontroller, I think it, well it probably will be, uh, I can't see what it is, that mega, yeah my eyesight's not that good, it's an, I don't know if you can see that, it's an app mega um, microcontroller I think, I think we've got another one there, a smaller one, it looks like it's smaller, it's a pin or two shorter isn't it, um, and then we've got a crystal, yeah the crystal's the giveaway really, that's, that's uh, an MCU, um, and then up here we've got the ROM, um, I've never seen that particular manufacturer before, but yeah that's interesting, it's a 29 29040, I'm guessing that's 512k by the looks of things, 70 nanoseconds. Um, and then we've got a UMC RAM here. Um, and Dave mentioned this previously, I think what he's done is gone for 128k RAM um, in order that he can you know, get the full 35k out of there. So there's a lot of wasted space, but um, it's unavoidable really, and it's, it's probably works out cheaper, I think, from what he was saying, to put 128k chip on there. So and everything's socketed, that's nice, easy to replace if something goes wrong. Um, yeah, it looks, it's really tidy, nice tidy board, and obviously you've got your menu button here. So I think that that'll perhaps you might be able to access that from the outside of the um, cart shell once it's got the new cart shell. And I think it's the eight bit, uh, you know, eight bit uh, what they're called. Future was eight bit, you know, again the micro SD, uh, you know, the SD um, to IEC card people. They're producing the shell for this, and I think this will be available on their website for sale um, as well. I'm not sure if it's just 
Dave's website, they're selling them on both, perhaps both of them I think. Um, but I'll put, post a link down below to their website as well, um, in case you want to look for an SD to IEC um, or one of these, you know, with the, the shell and stuff. Um, but yeah, very impressed uh, again. Thanks for watching, I'll see you soon.